Hey everybody, it's Queen of Light 1111 here with your midweek check-in. So today we're going to be looking at just kind of what stage uh, masculine and feminine are in right now. We're still in Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde does not end until October 2nd, and then we go into a two-week post shadow period so sometime after october 16th is when communication and other things around technology and just progress in general will will start to move forward okay um so what we're looking at is where is feminine today as related to her masculine where's masculine today where's the connection today then we'll look at where is masculine as related to his own karmic cycle and then we'll look at where is the connection headed okay if you want to book your own personal reading coaching session or healing session go to queen of light 1111.com so let's go ahead and take a look at the bottom of the deck oh and before i forget don't forget i have a couple more seats left to my divine feminine rising um workshop that is this sunday october 2nd divine feminine rising workshop october 2nd 12 noon pacific standard time on zoom a couple more seats available book that now on my website queen of light 1111.com bottom of the deck for this main theme that we've got going on today is the sun card headed into judgment if you guys are watching my king of shadows 1111 channel you will know that we received this judgment card uh, not this specific one, but a, judge, a judgment card in one of the readings that I just did on that channel. So with this particular card, there is a massive awakening going on. So there we have the sun card, right? Sun is about vitality. It's about happiness. It's about illumination. Judgment is all about awakening. It's about reflection. It's about this energy of karma, right? A review of your life, a review of your lessons. So in this in-between stage, there is some sort of security and happiness that at least the sun is, sun is behind us okay what lies ahead of us is unknown and it's scary but those lessons are going to be presented to us from our spirit guides from our angels okay and so this energy here is that we are awakening to our spirit guides and our angels so what about for divine feminine what is the bottom of the deck for her with the knight of swords she's going just no problem towards her angels she's charging towards her angels she wants truth she wants answers about this connection that she's very disappointed by and she's what she's doing right now is she's releasing her ego she's tapping into her purpose she's tapping into her resilience and her own vitality so for divine feminines particularly here she wants to hear from the angels she's already awakened she's aligned she's like tell me tell me let's let let me move forward towards you you come towards me spirit guides and angels and help me understand this disappointment and this connection right help me release myself of my wounds of my ego to really understand from a place of wisdom and intuition what truly is happening what's the bottom of the deck for divine masculine well he's kind of slowly awakening to his angels Okay, he's in this energy of slowly awakening to his angels. Um, he's really kind of in this energy of being thoughtful, analyzing, assessing what the angels are saying. There's an energy here of coming to terms with what they are saying. He knows that he needs to make peace, that he needs to surrender and give in to his intuition and to his inner knowing. Okay, so what about the connection? Well, there is this energy of the angels, right? We talked about this. Hold on, sorry. Um, and so this is all about the masculine taking leadership, right? The masculine paying attention to where he is stuck. Period. The end. It's really, this doesn't really have much to do with feminine other than feminine's like final phases and energies around healing masculine is the one who is stuck right now he's stuck between choices he's stuck in his own journey and he's really got to listen to his angels he has to listen to his spirit guides he has to listen to his own intuition he has to step into his confidence if anything is going to shift period the end 
So the bottom of the deck for this part of the reading, that was just kind of like the overarching with the karmic situation too, but I'm not even going to go into that yet because I don't want to start channeling that. Bottom of the deck for masculine and feminine is that there is growth that is occurring. There is growth that is occurring. High priestess and empress. Masculine and feminine are absolutely, feminine's already tied into her inner divine feminine. She's tapped into her intuition. But you know what? Masculine is growing. He is emerging and he is growing and he is listening to his intuition too. So what is divine feminine's energy towards her masculine? The tower headed into the star. So there is a positive twist of fate that is happening, okay? So when you think about the tower, that is something that has crumbled. That is something that has been devastated. Things have fallen apart. But the star is all about hope. It's about vision. It's about alignment. So, you know, there has been an energy where she was... Um, her course with masculine was altered and changed because of third party situations. Okay. There was devastation. There was a crumbling of this journey because of third party situations. But now as she is healing and aligning and surrendering, she's surrendering this third party situation, this disappointment that this third party situation came in and she's alleviating herself from her suffering. She is alleviating herself from her suffering that there's no more contact with masculine that they didn't discuss what happened she's really just charging towards her spirit guides towards her angels to gain the truth to gain the lesson to gain the understanding and relieving herself of this third party stress she's like if you want to stay trapped in a situation masculine that's up to you but she no longer will be trapped by his karmic situation what is masculine's energy towards this feminine look at you can't make this up three cups headed into the four of cups so yeah he was in third party situations. He's in other situations at this time. But look, it's headed into the four of cups. He's bored of those connections. Okay. He's apathetic. He doesn't have to do the work. He doesn't have to grow up. He doesn't have to um, excel on his soul's journey if he stays in those connections. So his energy towards his feminine is, yeah, I, I, and in other connections that I'm actually, frankly, now bored by. I am in this energy of understanding. I'm in this energy of my wisdom. And I'm understanding that I need to get motivated. I need to get that fire lit under my tail in order to be victorious on this soul's journey and on this journey with you. And so he's in this energy where, you know, he needs to listen to his own intuition. He needs to listen to his spirit guides, his angels, to his dreams, that it's time for him to start to take action. It's time for him to get out of this apathetic relationship where he is not growing. He's not learning. He knows it. It's too easy. He's in this energy. It's karmic now. He's learned the lesson. He's bored. He's apathetic, but he's not growing. His soul is not growing. His soul is not developing. Yes, the karmic has taught him lessons, but I feel like he's kind of done with the lessons and now he's just bored. So now what's going on in this connection? Well, five of pentacles headed into the six of pentacles. Five of pentacles is that energy of separation and abandonment. But here is this opportunity. The door has opened now to have an exchange between the two. So the energy of the connection is, look, we're not doing jack about it. Maybe someone's opened the door in the connection. Maybe there's this energy of, hey, I unblocked you or whatever it is, but we're still not doing anything. So the divine is stepping in and cut, putting a destruction, a thunderbolt through this stuck energy because that energy has to end. Look at this, tower on tower. Just when the feminine says, all right, I'm healing myself of this third party situation. There will be positivity to my journey. I'm starting to understand how these third party situations are helping him and helping me. I'm releasing. I'm aligning. I'm listening to you, my higher self. I'm listening to you, my spirit guides and my angels. Masculine, boom, gets into this energy of, you know what? I'm, I'm bored. I, I'm not learning anything anymore. I know that I need to reignite my fire if I want any success with my divine feminine. So what happens in the connection is the door is open, but we're not doing anything. No one's taking any action. So the divine is stepping in with change, with this energy of triumph over evil, this energy of shifting the energy and ending this stalemate. So now let's take a look at... 
What's the energy between masculine and his karmic or karmic cycle? We can't make this up. Wheel of Fortune headed into justice. This is all about karma. We are in Libra season right now. That is the justice card. So when this card comes out, and I feel like I did an, a reading earlier this month where we had the same exact card come out. This is a warning. He is being warned. Spirit guides, angels, the universe divine is saying, stay alert, masculine, stay alert, karmic. This is your trial. We are bringing balance. There will be change. If you make a wrong decision, it is going to be brought to light. Right? Are you making good decisions that are in your alignment? So these things are coming to light now. The truth, the clarity of their connection right now is bringing back to light. And right now, they're kind of in between. There's a suspension in this connection. There's a suspension in the karmic connection. There's this energy of we're not really doing anything. Things are in limbo. And it's time to unlock the connection. It's time to unlock. So now, what's the energy between masculine and karmic? Exactly the same thing, what I just said. Ace of Wands headed into the Two of Wands tells me that we just don't know. We don't know that if we even want this connection right now, right? Ace of Wands, Two of Wands. Ace of Wands is that drive, it's that energy, it's that creation. Two of Wands is choices. So this in-between concept is, do I want this or do I not want this? To be or not to be. And that's where they're at, at the crossroads. Do I want to put in more work? Do I want to devote more time? This is frankly what Divine Masculine is asking himself. But what he's asking, what he's actually doing is, I want to get rid of this connection. I want to unlock myself from this connection. So it just kind of feels like it's time for decisions to be made. You know, whether he's going to go with feminine or not, he needs to break free of this connection that is going nowhere. He needs to cut through the apathy. So I said, all right, well, where is the connection going with divine masculine and feminine? You can't make this up. Two of wands and into three of wands. Look at this. Two of wands here and their karmic connection. So once he makes a decision to eliminate this karmic cycle and connection, he now shows up. Look, this feminine's doing her own thing. She's in this place of balance. She's worked really hard to balance her journey out. And then somebody comes in, this masculine. Hey, hey, remember me? So this card in this in-between stages, all of a sudden, Divine Masculine's like, hey, can I join you on this journey? That's where they're headed. Masculine will come forward and say, can I join you on this journey? So where's the karmic connection headed? Look at this star into the moon. Where did we get the star? Look at this tower into the star. Feminine's in alignment. Feminine has released her attachment to this connection. And sure enough, the minute she forgives and moves on from this third party situation, so does masculine. And then what happens? The divine sets in and creates a shift in their connection. And that shift that is created, that started with feminine, releases masculine from this karmic cycle. He does the work to eliminate the cycle. And where is their connection headed? The star into the moon. What once had hope and vision and positivity and all of these wishes are now kind of in this energy of like, I don't really know if I want this connection. So where are they headed? They're headed into that moon's energy where they see the illusion Right? Remember, the bottom of the deck for this whole reading is the sun. There is an awakening to this illusion. There is an awakening to their subconscious. Into this unknown, but using your intuition that this is not where I want to be. I had hope for this. I was excited about this. It's lost its luster. And now I'm going to use my intuition to move on. You can't make this up, guys. If you want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session, go to queenoflight1111.com. And don't forget, if you want to join me for my seminar, Divine Feminine Rising, on Sunday, October 2nd at 12 noon, go to queenoflight1111.com. Only two more seats left. Bye.